Hello everyone, I want to welcome you to Open Heavens Daily Devotional Review. Today, the 26th of September 2022. What a Monday and how to start off your, your week. And I want to pray for you that this week, God will reverse all the irreversibles for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to look into your word. Thank you for your son for putting this word together. The Bible says your word liberates. I pray that this word will shine light upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that we have lost in the past, every good thing we've lost in the past, we ask you we recover them all for us. You will reverse the irreversible on our behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Redeemer, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. I'm so excited today because God is going to do something big in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our topic today says, He can reverse the irreversible. Revelation chapter 1 verse 8. Revelation chapter 1 verse 8. The Bible says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. That is completeness. What God is saying in this verse is that He's the one that knows the end right from the beginning. He knows everything that is currently happening. He knows things to come. What a God we serve. So if he is in charge and is not controlled by time, because that's what is playing out here. If he is not controlled by time, it means that he can go and do it. And I'm going to show you today that God has done it before. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 says, the same God yesterday, today and forever. He can do it again. He can repeat what he has done before. He can even do things that we have never conceived in our minds before because he's also a future God. And that's why God is so relevant in every situation. He's so relevant. He's not outdated. Books can be outdated. The word of the Lord remains relevant forever. And today, <laughs> Daddy told us that there was a prophet that God, there was a prophet who went to the king and he, he mentioned to the king, he said, God said he's going to heal you. And the king asked for a sign. He said, you see this son? He said, I want him to go backward. He knew that if he asked his son to go forward, that one is easy. He decided to ask for the one that he will go back for. And the Bible says, God made that happen. The son went backward, meaning that he repeated the day. That was a big miracle just to show a sign to the king that there is nothing our God cannot do. That Jesus said, when he was clocking 60 years old, he told the Lord, there's so much assignment you have given to me, but my son is setting down. And the Lord told him, who told you your son is setting? He said, I, your son will set only when I have allowed you to set. And he said, from that day, he began to do tremendous things. Can I pray for someone who think all hope is lost? Can I pray for someone who think the time has passed? Maybe you have missed some opportunity in the past. Can I pray for you today? God is going to reverse the time for you in the mighty name of Jesus. You will recover all in the mighty name of Jesus. Those years you have lost in the past, God will reverse those opportunities for you and hand it over to your hand in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, I'm so excited today about what God is doing in the life of people. He told us about a story of a woman who had babies for different men and all hope is, was lost that she can't remarry again, you know, because she has not given her life at, at that time. But when she gave her life to Christ, she said, oh, she's just going to just go on and live her life. But the Lord <laughs> reversed the irreversible. God brought the bone of her bone and then she was married again to live a good life, like a brand new life. Can I pray for someone who is currently living in regret that things and all hope is lost. Your hope is not lost because the Bible says our hope is in Christ, of Je in Christ Jesus. Your hope is coming back again in the mighty name of Jesus. God will take care of you in the name of Jesus. You know, you know, one of the favorite, one of the favorite things that I learned in that book of Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 14, which is our Bible text for today, is the ability of God to do what has never happened before. That son that was reversed was a, was a, was a deeper place of miracle. And immediately, the faith of the king became alive. Can I pray for someone? God is going to do something in your life that the entire members of your family, those who will hear your testimony, will give their life to Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Can we pray today? Our prayer point says, cry to God concerning that opportunity that you have lost. Tell him, Lord, please reverse the irreversible for my sake. 
go ahead and begin to cry to God. I hope you are praying already. Don't keep quiet. It's the opportunity for God to reverse all that is irreversible in the mighty name of Jesus. And perhaps you're on the call. You don't know the Lord. There's no way God is going to come to your rescue. He only comes to the rescue of his own children. And there is need for you to first come to him before he can start fighting for you. Can I pray with you? If you are making that decision to say, Lord, I want to come back to you. Can I pray with you? You say, Father, I am tired of my old ways. I am tired of all that I have lost in the past. And I want you to save me. The, 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 the saving grace that is available for me. I promise not to go back to my sin and I want to live a new life. If you have just made that prayer, congratulations to you because you are now a child of God and I want to celebrate you. Beginning from now, when you go to God, He will answer you in the mighty name of Jesus. He will fight for you in the name of Jesus and He will recover all for you in the name of Jesus. God bless you.